take one. Uh, this is the Blackwing Ninja with uh, my version of a Blackwing deck right now. Uh, it's pretty loose. Well, it's not really loose, but uh, there's a couple of filler cards, and I have two proxies in here. Uh, I'll let you know when I get to them. First, starting with monsters, Elf and the Raven. Just one. Good card. Good card. Got that in the tin. Got really lucky. Uh, good for switching up stuff. Good for pulling anything with Black Whirlwind. Uh, two Sirocco's. A lot of people will win three. I think that's a little bit of overkill. Unless you're trying for an OTK strategy. Um, two Shuras. I actually need three. I'm probably going to replace something with another Shura when I get one. Uh, really good card. Good for springboarding. Great for synchroing. Especially if you you got... If you have the Blackwing Synchros, then, then yeah, that's good. I don't have any, but... Uh, one Bora. I actually would run two, but, you know, again, not as easy for me to get. Kind of a, bludge, a budget player, you know. Uh, standard, three Kalutes. Can't run a Blackwing deck without three Kalutes. It's it's just great. Uh, you can also use the Black Whirlwind Springboard, which is what I do. Uh, I'll Black Whirlwind then Kalut, get Gale, half the attack, synchro for six, and then blow, run it over completely. Speaking of which, Gale, limited to one, you know, that uh, Gale limited to one. I mean, I, I got into the game after it, the ban list came out, so I wasn't really too mad about that. Uh, Gust of Backblast, I, won, I run one. That was pretty hard to get. I got that from a friend of mine. He found it by accident. He got Shining Darkness, and he just gave it to me. So I was pretty ecstatic about that. Two Fame Steel Chains. If you do need an OTK strategy, or if you do have an OTK, that's good to use. Also good for just direct attacks, getting over those walls. Uh, especially with like Morphtronics and stuff, where, where you know they have different things. When, they have different abilities when they're in defense. Change that up to defense and make it easily destroyable, I mean. Uh, I run triple Mistral the Shield. A lot of people do not run Mistral at all. Some people run like one. I springboard it off of my Shura, and I'll just pull that out of the deck, and I'll use that. Good for defense, and, you know, great for synchroing. Especially because it's not an easy tuner to get rid of. Uh, and it's great for mobbing. Uh, I run three Ghiblies as well something that a lot of people don't do. Uh, good for synchroing for six. Good good defense. It's a great meat shield if you're ready to get, you know, attacked or something. And also, against the wind, or not against the wind, uh, Black Whirlwind. You can pull it with anything. So, that's also great. Um, I have a Mystic Tomato filler card, you know. Great for getting Gale, surprising people, because when you set a monster, people are going to think it's a Black Wing with pretty high defense, like Mistral or Ghibli. I guess Ghibli has good defense for three star. Um, zero Gardner. Great for defense. I, I run one. You know, it's it's just good defense. Um, moving on to magic. You know, you got your staples like Sword of Light, Swords of Revealing Light, uh, Heavy Storm, you know, Black Whirlwind. Gotta have that. Uh, that's where the whole springboard strategy comes in. Um, Pot of Avarice, because you're going to be synchroing a lot. You're going to want to recycle cards. I mean, this is a 51 card deck, but you're still going to want to recycle. Um, Giant Trunade, you know, kind of clear those fields. In case, if, if you do know that they're running a Starlight Road, if they've set a lot of spells and traps, or if they set three, use the Giant Trunade first. Uh, Monster Reincarnation, you know, recycling, you know, pitch like Ghibli to get Kalut. That's great. You know, My body is a shield. You need to run one. Two is good. Three is definite overkill. Uh, against the wind. You're going to take a little damage with that card, but the damage you take, depending on what you get, is going to be good. If you if you take for like a Shura, that's okay. If you're taking for like a Sorako, that's way too much. And if you're, if you're taking for a Gale, that's great. You can get Gale out of the graveyard probably before they remove it, which is what they're going to try to do. Uh, this is my one proxy in you know the main deck, which is uh, Allure of Darkness. Used to be a Raptor Wing Strike, but I'm taking that out for Allure. I'm going to get that Wednesday. Friend Manny's going to give that to me. Uh, 
Well, I shouldn't be saying names. I, I, I was calling Master Roshi. It's kind of a thing we do. Uh, Raptor Wing Strike, you need one. Good for pulling things out of, you know, if somebody uses, like, a lot of, there are a lot of like, fat equipped cards, like, you know, Akibio Drockmore, stuff like that. Another staple, MST. Double Summon, actually really good. Especially because of all the synchroing. Uh, you know, Lightning Vortex. I don't have a brain control or a mind control, but that's good for clearing the field. Book of Moon, good for defense. I only have one, I would run two. Uh, different Dimension Reincarnation. You have no idea how many times that will save you. If you're running against a removal deck, great. And uh, actually, you can Allure of Darkness your own card, get a good Blackwing on the field. Quick, you know, pitch, sure, uh, use DDR. Uh, I run two Icarus attacks, moving on traps. Two Icarus attacks. You know, three is overkill. One is not enough. So, you know, two is two is good. Um, two threatening roars, stalling. You're not going to use it often, but if somebody does do, if you do run up against like a gadgets and they're doing, you know, uh, I can't limiter removal. That that will save you. Or like Red Dragon Archfiend, also good for that. Two Sakuretsu armors. You're gonna do a lot of protection cards because of your Fane the Steel Chain and your your lower level Black Wings that you're gonna want to save there. Ghibli, you never want to throw out Ghibli without a protection card down. Uh, Torrential Tribute, like an amazing staple for Black Wing decks. You could you could just wait until they summon a bunch of stuff with all your your stall cards, and you can just wait until they summon a bunch of stuff and wait until they special summon that one thing. Torrential Tribute, all of it goes down. Uh, Trap Hole. Trapple, great. Old school card, come back into the newer game. You know, Trapple, everybody hates it. Starlight Road, you need one. Two is okay. Uh, it's a little bit overkill. You only need one, but, you know, do what you want to do. One bottomless Trapple, I'll probably be getting another one and substituting that for Trapple. One Dust Tornado, you just need a little more back row destruction. Especially because, you know, you're going to want to try and pick these things off one at a time and try and hit that Starlight Road before they can use it. Call of the Haunted, you know, staple. Skill successor. I actually like to pop up on my on my opponent with some attack that they never saw coming, which is where, you know, the Kalut... I'll wait until you attack me to use a Kalut. I'm probably not going to use a Kalut to attack you. Um, Magic Cylinder. You know, great protection. If I had a Mirror Force, it would be in place of that. But for now, Magic Cylinder is good. Very good. You know, especially for, like, Colossal Fighter, stuff like that. Scrap Iron, again, you know, protection. A lot of people think it's useless, but I like it. I'm going to move on to Synchros. And there are a couple Synchros in here I can't actually use. so Or some that I don't want to use, too. I mean, I can use them. I don't want to. Uh, you're going to need Stardust Dragon. That's a staple for, like, any deck. It's not necessarily, you know, just for anything. Uh, Red Dragon Archfiend, again, not for this deck, but a staple in a lot of stuff. You're going to need some back row destruction. Ancient Fairy Dragon for defense, and also to help you swarm, because a lot of people think that this is just like a Millennium Shield with the potential to destroy a, a field card, but you can actually, uh, just, you can special summon. You have to skip your battle phase, but you can special summon a card, and you can just use that swarm the field. Uh, Guy of the Force of Earth. Guy of the Force of Earth, good staple six card. It's crap, you know. But what you're wanna, gonna want to do is you're gonna want to summon this first, because tuning synchroing for eight is not easy in this deck. But but you know that that is that is what you're gonna want to do. You're gonna get that out first, and then synchro for eight, and then get your good six psychic life transfer. You know just just to be there. Broken Fighter, Colossal. You know, that's the giant that's hard to take down. And you could special summon the warriors from other people's graveyards, so you could do that and get like an exiled force or something. And this is my proxy for Goyo Guardian. Uh, I have Iron Chain Dragon, but I would prefer to run Goyo, and I'd probably get that from my friend Manny. From uh, my friend Master Roshi. I don't know yet. He said I probably would. But uh, that was my deck in a nutshell. I do have a couple of side deck items, you know, so it's, it's not a great side deck. I don't use it often, you know, like Macrocosmos stuff for that for Light Sworns. But other than that, 
this is basically the deck that you're going to want. I mean, good protection. I call it D-Wing because it's not Steel Wing, but you're, you're going to do a lot of protecting your own cards with this. And Starlight Road, Stardust Dragon, you're going to want to get those out pretty quick. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, let me know. Uh, email blackwingninja at yahoo.com. Go ahead and hit me up on that. All right. Uh, that's it. First video.